What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Miguel Climbs. As you can see, I've got a very special guest here, my boy, Eric Carlson. Dude, how are you? I'm so stoked to like finally meet you. Yeah, I'm super excited you're here. <laughs> like, we've been sessioning for uh, four hours or something, and Miguel, he brought the energy. That crew has, it's been a long time since they had them, that much energy. Dude, you brought it out of me. Really? Like, no joke, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, let me uh, start off by introducing Eric to people that have never, or people that haven't been climbing as long, might not know who you are, because yeah. you're like the OG, bro. I like to call you the OG. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, like when I started climbing, this was around 2015, 2016. And you know that very first year when you start climbing, you're just like super stoked on climbing. Yeah. And you just want to like find everything climbing on like YouTube and everything. Yeah. You filled that gap for me, dude. Was that the years? I was like, was that the years when I did one video? You were doing one yeah, video a day, 2016. Yeah. I would get home from work and I would put it up on the big screen. Like my wife would hear it in the kitchen. She's like, are you watching Eric Carlson again? I'm like, yep. But it was like the highlight of my day, seeing the old crew like Hans and Felipe and Noria and Tor, obviously Emil Niken. Yeah. So it's just really, really awesome, dude, because without you, like, I don't think there'd be as many bouldering channels. You really are the OG. And I really appreciate you for starting this and for like not listening to the haters and just like doing what you wanted to do. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, dude. Because it's, it's really sick. Man, I appreciate it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, one of the dreams was to have, for me, I think I mentioned this in, in, in videos many years ago, it's like I wanted more people to start the channel. So that was like the thing. I was like, if I start the channel, then more people start the channel, and then we can have more climbing. Everyone can have more climbing. Right. And right now it's like, yeah, it's more channels than ever. I and know, everyone dude. is like stepping up the, the quality of the films and the ambitious of the, the ideas they're doing. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. So. People are getting really good out there. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm stoked. This everything I've ever wanted it to no, do. No, dude, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, dude, retrospectively, look back on your five, six years on YouTube. Tell me like how it's been. Who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, okay. It's been super hard and very rewarding at the same time. Because when I started, I didn't know anything about filmmaking. Yeah, I just love filmmaking. I love every part of it and it's been I think it's over 800 videos now. Yeah, dude. and I'm like still more psyched than ever. Yeah, your video quality has really leveled up. No, yeah, I've worked really hard on it the last last yeah. three years specifically. And then yeah, I got you know some health issues three years ago. Right, right. Just trying to get into climbing again and figure that out. Are you are you gonna start climbing again? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. good. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. So you'll come to Vegas and be on a Sunday sense out there one day. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we always talk it. about like we should go back to the U.S. Yeah. Um, so hopefully now with the health is better and you get some kind of routine and knowing what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the U.S. videos are definitely something we all within the crew have been thinking about for a long time. So. Yeah, yeah. So like you were saying earlier, there's a lot of channels now. Like my favorites are obviously Magnus and you, but there's like Hannah Morris, who's like really leveled up her game with Nathan. Yeah. And um, favorite outdoor one is Wedge Climbing. He's yeah. really like, his videos are ridiculous. Dude. They're almost too professional. <laughs> like It's crazy. <laughs> but there's so many little channels like sprouting up everywhere, which is great to see. Yeah. So like, like what advice do you have for like somebody starting a gym bouldering channel? I think, you know, when I started, like the, the quality wasn't very high. Maybe it was because we, the cameras didn't exist yeah. back then it did now. But I think definitely if, if I had started now, like one of the things is like, I think you need some kind of equipment to kind of level out to give like a fair... Yeah, just because everybody stepped it up so much. I mean, yeah, everything, everyone stepped it up so much and the, and the quality of the films are so high. But at the same time, like if you have like a uh, just a, um, like a cell phone camera, yeah. But the spirit of a bouldering session is to just have fun with your friends, right. and if you can capture that, then I think you can also compete. No, but I if agree. you can have that with a good camera, then I think you have your place in the yeah. market. Yeah. No, yeah. My advice would be consistency for me is key. Yeah. I've been uploading every single week, and I like having that deadline filming fun Sunday, uploading Monday. And um, I would also say pay attention to what the big boys like Eric and Magnus and all those other people are doing. Because it is important to have a fun session, but it's also important to break it up a little bit. Like Magnus breaks it up with drone shots here and there, B-roll shots. Like I like how you, when somebody's talking about the climb, if Mickey's doing a heel hook, you'll do the heel hook footy. So it's not just like a rambling video of you doing your sesh that's not very interesting to people, but it's good to break it up and just like watch what watch what the experts are doing over here because it's it helps a lot. Yeah, and I definitely want to add to that as well because it took me like a long time to figure out. It's like, let's say you, you explain something about the boulder problem or how you're feeling. Yeah. You're explaining someone and it's hard to communicate a feeling, but if you can have visual images to what you're communicating, yeah. it's much easier to not only tell a story, but also emphasize the feeling of that story. And in the past, I would have you just standing and talking about the boulder on the wall and not 
kind of show it visually and thinking that that somehow would translate because I have a relationship to the boulder. But the audience have never seen the boulder before. And if you're talking about a specific boulder or a specific move and then you have visual overlays for it, yeah. then you, it's much easier for the audience to get engaged, but also just know what's happening. Yeah. It's your task to tell, tell the story as clearly and efficiently as yeah. possible. And that takes practice, like telling yeah. that story. It, it, I mean, it took you a couple of years, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It's taken <laughs> me time to figure out how to tell that story arc. But story is kind of everything. Yeah. Like, uh, don't just upload your session, call it a day. Try to put a little bit of work into it. It'll make you a better filmmaker and storyteller overall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that being said, like, when I was watching your videos five, six years ago, I would always be like, damn, what? freaking camera is Eric using like it's so good I would always want to nerd out on what you were using and like one day I found out it was like a Panasonic GH or something and like you had your gimbal and your wide angle lens and I was like damn do I need to go buy a Panasonic and a wide angle lens so like long story short no you don't need the fanciest equipment but let's talk about equipment a little bit do you want to know the equipment I have right yeah, now yeah like right, the this guy this guy's pulling focus like it's so legit, dude. And if you're watching his videos on a cell phone, you're doing yourself a huge disservice because you need to see the rack focus yeah. and everything. I'll be like, watch it on the <laughs> I usually tell Mick screen. and everyone to be like, okay, I want feedback on the video. Yeah. And it's like, okay, I gotta watch on the laptop. You're <laughs> yeah. like, you cannot watch it on the cell phone. Yeah, yeah. No, um, just tell me what you have today, like what uh, body you're using, what lenses you like, what like yeah. cage you're using, and I'll break down mine and then uh, that'll be it, yeah. Well, I used the Sony a7S III. And then with that, I just have a bunch of cinema lenses. So that means like, I bought the camera originally because it's like, it has amazing autofocus. And then over time I'd be like, okay, I don't want the autofocus anymore. <laughs> yeah. So the cinema lenses, they are manual focus. And then if you buy that, you need to buy like a gear to control the manual focus. Right. And then you end up in this black hole of expenses. Yeah. And that never ends. Handles. Topics. Yeah. You're using <laughs> the, a... the rigging it is too heavy now. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm overkilling it, but I'm also, I, I, I want to be very serious with filmmaking beyond YouTube. Uh -huh. So it's like an investment for the future, maybe yeah, a couple yeah. years ahead. What uh, picture profile are you using just um, for the nerds out there? Like the S-Log3, so it's like the flattest. Yeah. So that means you and I can I think, you, are you doing I'm, that? I'm on S-Log3 as well. Yeah, so we and can you change. have your own LUTs or you're using like some standard LUTs? Um, no, I just color grade. Oh, you color grade off, yeah. you, off your I love eye. it. Dude, your, so. your colors have been fire lately. I mean, no I appreciate joke. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's my setup right here. I'm gonna list it again. My go-to lens on the full frame is a Sony 20 millimeter, 1.8. And I like that one because it has the iris ring and I could control light that way. Yeah. And then on my APS-C camera, my favorite lens is probably the 11 millimeter. It's like 16 millimeter equivalent, like okay. super wide because my gym is very tight. Yeah. And I like Momo's pretty tight too. I'm surprised you're not using more wide angle yeah. lenses. <laughs> I have a small gimbal setup. The Ziyun Crane M3 and the Ziyun Weeble 3 for my big heavier setup. And again, I shoot S Log 3 as well. And I'm just using a standard Rec. 709 LUT and I do a little bit of tweaks from there. Okay. But, but I'm, uh, I've now been listening to all your gear. I'm like, does he have more gear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but dude, uh, you're just such an inspiration. So thank you for doing this interview with me. Thank you for featuring me on your channel. Thank you. I had a lot of fun with the boys. And I hope to see you in Las Vegas soon. Is there anything yeah, you want to plug before we leave or say? No, I just subscribe to we, your channel. We covered it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're psyched. I'm psyched that you're like loving it. So. Dude, bouldering, yeah. gym bouldering, videos for life. This, <laughs> yeah. guy, this guy started it all, the OG forever. Thank you once again, Thank dude. You, man. Appreciate it. All right, Eric, I forgot before we leave, I want to give you a little present okay, I'm, for I'm everything nervous. that you've done. <laughs> so this is for you. It's a Vegas Golden Knights shirt. Ooh, nice. Thank, Thank you. Our boy William Carlson. Ooh, he nice. Two goals last night. We're in the playoffs right now, dude. Yeah. And then I brought you a little light. Oh, you brought me important. light? I know how important lighting is to you, so dude. that's the way to go. Thank you. <laughs> we have actually we talked about investing light yesterday. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna look into what we should invest in. Yeah. But yeah, seriously, subscribe to this guy if you're newer to bouldering. He's the OG. And thanks again, man. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> dude. Dude, it's too kind. Yeah.